Hi, I'm, I'm Pamela Anderson. <laughs> that's good, that's good news. Um, I am a, a California resident of Malibu, actually. I was born and raised on Vancouver Island. I was surrounded by this natural beauty. I was surrounded by orcas um, my whole life, and I really love them and appreciate them in the wild. There's plenty of opportunities to see these beautiful animals in the wild, which is much more educational. And I do look back and I see, you know, educate, inspire, and conserve. And those are three words that do not describe SeaWorld. Um, I often look out at the beautiful ocean in which the whales confined at SeaWorld had freedom as nature intended. SeaWorld's proposed expansion is out of step with the times. LA has banned bull hooks used to beat elephants. San Francisco banned animal circuses altogether. And last month, a judge upheld the government's ruling bearing, barring a marine park from importing beluga whales from Russia, an issue I spoke about at a Russian forum just a few weeks ago, just before the ruling. Approving a permit for a new awful orca tanks would be a major step backwards. Look closely at SeaWorld's plan. It is designed to enhance the tourist experience, not the animal's existence. SeaWorld says it will use the extra space to breed and imprison more orcas. Approving this project will mean immense suffering for the ocean's most sophisticated animals. The construction alone will be very distressing to SeaWorld's captive orcas. Only one of the existing tanks is being replaced, so the orcas will remain in the others and be subjected to constant loud machinery. For marine mammals who communicate through sonar vibrations, this is torture. SeaWorld's own records reveal that construction stresses the whales out. SeaWorld is clinging desperately to the past, before people understood these intelligent animals. But we now know that captive orcas go insane and suffer terrible depression when they are separated from their babies and their families. If SeaWorld truly cared about animals, they would, remove, they would move the orcas to sea sanctuaries, which would be much less expensive, where they live some semblance of a normal life, feel the ocean currents, perhaps even communicate with their pods, even if they can never be released. As a resident of California, I urge you, please, vote against SeaWorld's Blue World Project. I have a unique situation. I get to speak all over the world, and I would love to tell the world how the California Coastal Commission made this really wonderful, forward-thinking, compassionate move, and that I could tell everybody all over the world just how it, how it started here. And Thank I you. know SeaWorld will be a thing of the past very soon. Thank you.